What are the best ones to invest in right now? This question will be answered by Helge Müller. He is the absolute corporate bond expert in Switzerland. He's a Swiss asset manager. His company is Genève Invest. He is an incredible specialist in the bond investment environment. So he will answer us this question today and it's a great pleasure that he is with us today. Stay with us. Caputo and Partners, SwissBankingLawyers.com. We fight for your money. Hello, my name is Enzo Caputo. I am a Swiss banking lawyer and the owner of the boutique of Caputo and Partners and the owner of the blog SwissBankingLawyers.com. This is the place where international business people find tips and solutions to better protect their assets with Swiss banks, to pay less tax and to make more money. Stay with us! We fight for your money. It's a great pleasure to have Helge Miller with us from Genève Invest. Helge, what are the best bonds to invest in right now and how is the market right now? Can you describe a little bit the market environment and what are the best bonds, what are the, uh, the best opportunities now? Well, the market is uh, indeed, we have a very interesting development in the market yeah. because last year bonds dropped quite significantly and not, this is not considered to the risk level of the bonds but with the duration. So the longer the duration was, the higher the bond dropped. Why did it drop? Well, we had the war in Ukraine. Um, this was a trigger for higher inflation. Inflation dropped in much more than the markets expected, even the central banks expected. Um, don't forget, they even were saying until December of 2021, the Fed said um, the inflation is transitory. Yeah, yeah, uh, exactly. Many, many forgot about that, you know? Yeah, so yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> They don't want they to forgot. remember, but, but uh, they always said it's transitory. But, it but indeed, what was a cha game changer was a war in the Ukraine. In, those, in this moment, really, um, prices went up dramatically because of shortages. And as a result, um, central banks increased interest rates dramatically. When that happened, bonds dropped. This is a very nice information for everyone that in, in the current market environment, because now you buy bonds at very attractive price and very attractive years. You know. So now it's the right now it's the right moment to buy bonds. Now it's the right moment to do bond investments because um, <laughs> um, because the yield level is high. Okay, excellent. The yield level is um, an extremely attractive, and we expect that. And the central bank is announcing it, and it is a logic point. Um, interest rates will not move up, up, up further. Yeah. Maybe a bit more, of course, we are not yeah. at the end. So Q2, um, in the next quarter, interest rates will go higher, but then interest rates will also come down when the job is done. Um, normally this takes six months, maybe this time it will take one year. But at one point, properly already 2024, interest rates will come down. And if this happens, the high yield level comes down as well. If you have locked in these nice yields right now, you make very good money because besides the very attractive interest rates, you also get price upside. Very interesting. So you can earn money twice with the interest rate and with the price upside. Yes. What you need to have is the right timing when to switch to the longer running bonds. So the right timing is essential and yeah, the right timing, exactly. And the right the diversification. To do the right diversification, you need the right advisors. And Helge Müller is without doubt one of the best bond advisors I know in Switzerland. And I know many people. I know many asset managers. I was the CEO of the Swiss Association of Asset Managers many years ago before I started my law firm. I know many asset managers, but all these asset managers, they are expert in stocks. But bond expert like Helge, there are very few and the bond market is a very, very attractive market and not many people know about it. But Helge tells us he knows the secrets of the bond markets. Um, well, answer the, you are totally right. Very few people make individual bond selection, and uh, we consider ourselves as value investor, yeah. like Warren Buffett, but like not on Warren the stock Buffett, side, but yeah. on the bond side. On the bond and, side, and on the bond side, there are many interesting opportunities and in market inefficiencies 
uh, where you see that, for instance, a, a corporation is um, a bond is trading um, five ten percent below par and is running out, and the market has just overseeing that. So there are many interesting opportunities that arise if you tailor select and if you look deep into the opportunity level that there is. Well, thank you. I introduced many investors, you know, uh, followers of, uh, of the YouTube channel, followers of my website, etc. I introduced many investors to Helge and I have to tell you one thing. All these investors, they are very happy. I never lost an investor with him because he's really doing an excellent job, an excellent job with relatively low risk. He knows how to manage the risk, he knows how to diversify, he knows the companies, he is really an expert in this bond market. What role should bonds play in a well diversified portfolio, Helge? Well, the key point is they should play a role. Okay. And I was talking to, uh, to bank advisors um, in, in Germany, I was on a road yeah, show. Yeah. And what was interesting is that they, they have, don't have bonds totally on the radar. Yeah. Because they said for many years they were not investing in bonds at all. And as a result... So they have forgotten bonds. They, they have forgotten have bonds, simply. That, simply forgotten out of was, scope. There was one senior bank manager that said his younger colleagues even don't know what bonds are. Yeah. You know, so, wow. Unbelievable. So this is the situation. And, and why why are bonds so attractive in a portfolio? Well, if you have government bonds, they traditionally have a negative correlation yeah. to equities. Yeah. So basically, stock market goes up, they go down and the opposite. So this is normally um, a, a nice component. Um, but we even like better, um, in a portfolio context, corporate bonds. Corporate bonds go with the stock market. So they go a bit up and a bit down when the stock market goes up and down. But more importantly, they run out and they provide a very nice cash flow. So you have a very nice cash flow coming in, but constantly they pay back the principal. If you have a portfolio, let's say, of bonds with maturities of one, two, three, four, five years, um, let's say 20% for each of those years, you get back 20% of your investment every year. Wow. And this, in a portfolio context, gives you the option every time again to choose how you want to invest the money. If the stock market drops, where you can buy So stock. you can adopt your strategy you can, always. You can you have constantly the possibility, the options in your hand to adapt your strategy and make new investment decisions based on the current investment situation. Very nice, very exciting, very exciting. It's a very exciting extra class because nobody is considered is considering bonds, but back to bonds is what you should do. You should reconsider bonds because there are a lot of opportunities in this market. What is the yield to maturity and why is the yield to maturity so important? Well, it is um, something very nice in the bond market that exists because um, imagine you would invest in the stock market and you would already know before how much you get. Where something unimaginable. Impossible in the stock Impossible. market. Yeah. But in the stock market, you simply know that before. You see how much you get if the company is not bankrupt, if the government is not uh, bankrupt, then you know exactly how much you get. So it is of course also an indication of the risk level. Um, this is something to take in consideration, but from the basis point, you want to get as much yield as possible. Um, in particular, if you have done your homework and you consider that this. What are the risks associated with high yield bonds, so-called junk bonds? Well, junk bonds, um, or high yield bonds are normally bonds um, that have a lower credit rating than triple B minus. Um, as so as many. That. So this is defined. Yeah. This is defined by the rating agencies Moody, Standard and Poor and Fitch, which are the three big yeah. um, agencies, um, and they define um, what is a junk bond and what not. Um, already, Andre Costolani, a famous author in the financial markets, said in the 90s that junk bonds is a total wrong name, and we totally would agree to that because. These are often very inter interesting companies. Some have difficulties, so they're so-called fallen angels. Sometimes they are private equity companies that issue um, new bonds, but they are also very, very nice, stable companies that just have a higher list, um, yield level, um, but um, and because of that, they have a lower credit rating. But you find very high quality also um, under this uh, so-called junk bond category. But I had 
clients before that they lost a lot of money with these junk bonds especially with Argentina I had a bunch of clients they invested in Argentina bonds and they lost they lost uh, a fortune a fortune Yes, well, indeed, <laughs> of course, you need to carefully select, you need to diversify. Diversification is king, but, yes. But also, um, there is one category that indeed we skip in the area of um, um, junk, high bonds. Or yeah. junk bonds. Yeah. These are governments. And I governments, yes, governments, I, or can be risky. Yeah? Well, yeah. no, I can tell you why. The point is, if a government decides not to pay back the money, what can you do? You cannot go and take over. Um, the assets of the country, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, so, exactly. So you, you, you cannot declare war to the government. No. So <laughs> in, if a company doesn't pay back the debt, what you can always do is well, you, you say, okay, one often one day depends to the um, to the law situation of every country. Yeah. But um, um, after one day, you can say, well, this is it. Please give me the key of the company. The company is now mine. Yeah. Um, I get the bondholders can take over the company um, if they have the right seniority level um, and then they run the company, the equity owners lose all their money. And this of course gives them high incentives to perform. And second important point to look at when it comes to high yield bonds is um, the EU restriction. Uh -huh. So we have the separation of wine drinking countries and beer drinking countries. Uh -huh. um, Very and interesting. The, the rule of thumb is avoid wine drinking countries and go to beer drinking countries. And see. There's a, um, it's, it's funny, but there's a clear reason behind that because in wine drinking countries like um, France, Spain and Italy, um, if it comes to the hard law case, they, uh, the, 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 um, the legal system is often that they try Very to find long. a balance yeah, for, yeah. for employment, um, for the ownership, for the debt holders. Um, in countries in the beer drinking countries, Germany, Scandinavia, um, exactly. UK, um, it is a very tough application. Um, the debt holders take over the company and then you have a very good recovery level that secures you on top that everyone knows that gives a high incentive um, of the owners to make sure that the company is in good state. Very interesting, very interesting. So even if the worst case happens with bond investments, you have already a chance to recover a part of your investment at least. So you have the chance to recover a part of it. Helge, thank you very much for being with us today. It was very interesting. I learned a lot today. Information just like this cannot be found in the internet, not in bibliotheques and not in the libraries. If you like more information just like this, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click the button, the subscribe button below and ring the bell. By doing so, you will never miss our new videos. If you want to discuss something directly with me, just use this phone number 0041-44212-4404 or you can drop me also an email. I wish you a beautiful day. Be rich and stay rich. See you next time.